it just it just didn't work out <laughs> Graduation. I have graduation and we're, we're kind of waiting to hear she comes. Come in. It's so cute. It's so adorable. Yes. It's so cute. I think it is him. I can take pictures off the video.
cheese hey guys so the footage that i wanted to show with you guys is the footage that i went to go get akina from delaware and also us doing like shopping and going out to eat and everything like that but unfortunately all the footage is gone like it's been corrupted on the sd card and it's just not it's not hitting the way it was so the next clips that you guys see is us actually coming back from um, Delaware as well as you know me ending the vlog because I assumed that you know the files were fine but unfortunately they were not um, and it was because of the SD cards you know I try to be cheap and it didn't work out so um, yeah I'm kind of bummed my feelings was hurt because I went four days trying to figure out how to restore them and it just it just didn't work out and I'm just I'm just hurt that's all it is because I wanted y'all to see the moment that we went picked her up because it wasn't like how any other days was and mind you guys like before she even was discharged I want to say like two weeks before she was discharged um things were really good with us you know we were conversating we were actually you know listening and talking to each other and stuff like that so yeah I'm kind of bummed um she's been home about two weeks now and things are great like you know besides teenage stuff you know um like her staying out late past curfew or her um yeah pretty much that her staying out past curfew like th what teenager doesn't do that um but it's on a different level now like you know instead of us like yelling and screaming or her running away or anything like that that hasn't happened um but like me and her are conversating, we're talking more, so things are all way a lot better than how it was before. Um, she did get a new diagnosis, which is bipolar and ODD, which makes more sense. And she is on medication for the bipolar. Um, as far as the ODD, I don't think there is any medication for that. Um, it's just more of like therapy and trying to figure out like how to cope and how to deal with the situation better. But yeah, so um, she should be starting a partial program um, next week and she's doing therapy we're you know trying to find a um agency so that we can do um family-based therapy which um i feel like will help a lot um besides what we already been working on while she was inpatient um but yeah i just wanted to give you guys an update on what happened and why things <laughs> are just like so discombobulated and so off and so weird when it comes to the content that I'm showing you guys and that's because I also lost the content for the bathroom um reorganization and cleaning I'm um, also lost the the footage for when we were doing the pantry and you know fixing up stuff but I do have some of that content off of my phone but mass majority of it that was on my camera is gone is so gone and Nana's trying to help me to recover it and if it doesn't come it doesn't come but if I do get to recover it then I'll just do a whole separate video for you guys um and then just have you guys see what I vlogged about <laughs> but I'm not getting my hopes up um because it took me four days to try and get it and it didn't work so if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen but at least now I can just you know let you guys know that everything's good like I haven't had no issues with her um she's doing what she's supposed to be doing she had a job interview um so yeah um i hope you guys see enjoy the next clip and um yeah so i'll see y'all in the next one wow same it besides <laughs> but it's not going nowhere <laughs> sunshine be doing the bet don't be doing it it should be on point i'm no longer calling her nana for me <laughs> Y'all could keep calling her Nana, but her name is Michelle, and to me, she's sunshine. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just how I roll. Now we're going to do the other one on this side. About, like, cleaning your brushes and stuff, so that's what I'm doing. Um, and that doesn't even count this part that I, I haven't even gone through that, or the black stand. So, yeah. Um... <laughs> Uh, I don't think I need anything for at least three years. I'm just saying. I'm going to give y'all a sneak peek. I'm telling you that there ain't no other way. Pack your bags and then you will go away. I'm not going to be begging you to stay. Me yesterday, I would handle this differently. Things are different, I'm a new me. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. That's not, that's not gonna happen. So
so even if you're asking even even if you're asking cause I do what I do and it's time for something new yeah gotta know when I let go gotta know when I let go gotta know when I let go sometimes giving up can make you grow can make you grow In a spot, telling you it ain't what I thought. Don't wanna be stuck in a spot, cause I don't really like what I got, so I change it. Bit by bit, it's not ungrateful, just being helpful for me and you. Cause we gotta go our own way, gotta, gotta go our own way. Yeah. This was not a good stay, gotta, gotta go our own way. finally home um i didn't vlog the rest of the day because my camera died and my phone was about to die so um but we're home now we finally made it home um akina is like settling in very well um we had a good conversation in the car and stuff like that and um we have to go to phoenixville for a partial program for her and they want us to be there by 7 30 and that's specifically because the last time she was discharge um she ran away way before the appointment that we were supposed to do for the other partial program but it's not a big deal um that means we have to get up at like five in the morning and be out of here by six fifteen ish and she said it's like a two and a half hour um intake appointment and then um from there we're gonna come back home because ain't nobody trying to be out for too long like we was literally in delaware all day because they took a long time for them to discharge her and do all the paperwork and everything but she's home now and I'm hoping and praying that you know her new diagnosis and the medication they have her on is exactly what she needs I feel like you know that this hospital finally like got got the foot on their necks and actually helped my child the way that they were supposed to and so um yeah so I'm I'm extremely happy that things worked out the way it was supposed to. Um, so I'll see y'all in the next one because I'm tired. I'm about to take my medication too. So that way I can get some sleep and relax and yeah. And hang out with my husband for the rest of the night because he's about to go get us some pizza. <laughs> so um, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. You always make me feel like I'm gay. You never leave my thoughts alone, yeah, you. You're the reason I'm going out of my mind. I just can't stop thinking about you. Take it away, take it away. Feeling too good to me. Chilling all day.